Welcome to the world of Punky Brewster, a timeless TV series that has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about the show, struck by a cherished memory associated with its unique charm and endearing characters? Or perhaps, amidst the diverse roles in the series, one character stood out as your absolute favorite. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about Punky Brewster. Did you know that the series, which first graced our screens in the latter part of the 1980s, quickly became a cultural phenomenon? Its relatable narrative and lovable protagonist, Punky, captured the imaginations of audiences, young and old alike. The show's exploration of themes like friendship, resilience, and the ups and downs of childhood resonated deeply with viewers, making it more than just a TV series. Punky Brewster became a companion, a source of laughter, and a repository of life lessons. As we stroll down memory lane, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Punky Brewster. We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your nostalgia is a testament to the enduring impact of this beloved series. So, who was your favorite character and what memories do you hold dear? We'd love to hear your thoughts and anecdotes. Join the conversation and share your Punky Brewster moments with us. Captivating, nostalgic, and filled with heart, Punky Brewster remains a touchstone for those who experienced its magic. Share your stories and connect with fellow fans after all. It's the memories that keep the spirit of Punky Brewster alive. Punky Brewster, a beloved 1980s TV series, originated as a heartwarming sitcom that followed the adventures of a spirited young girl with an infectious personality. The show revolved around Punky, a resilient orphan, and her unconventional foster father, Henry, played by George Gaines. Punky's colorful wardrobe and mismatched shoes became iconic symbols of her individuality, while her unwavering optimism endeared her to audiences. The series expertly blended humor with poignant moments as Punky navigated the ups and downs of childhood, addressing themes of friendship, family, and self-discovery. The unique blend of lightheartedness and meaningful storytelling contributed to the show's lasting impact on popular culture, making it a cherished memory for those who grew up with Punky's infectious spirit. The character's enduring appeal is a testament to the show's ability to resonate with audiences, transcending its era, and leaving an indelible mark on television history. Punky Brewster remains a nostalgic gem, celebrated for its timeless messages and the endearing charisma of its titular character, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers across generations. Solo Moon Fry's casting as the lead in the 82nd series marked a defining moment for Punky Brewster. Beating out a pool of 1,000 girls, her portrayal brought a spirited depth to the character, resonating strongly with audiences. This selection solidified the show's core, propelling it toward becoming a cultural phenomenon. Fry's embodiment of Punky Brewster breathed life into the role, capturing the essence of a resilient, spirited youngster navigating the complexities of childhood. This casting choice, pivotal in shaping the show's trajectory, established a beloved icon in television history, sparking a connection with viewers that surpassed mere entertainment. It laid the foundation for a series that not only entertained but also inspired, leaving an enduring impact on generations. The decision to cast Fry set the stage for the show's success, elevating it beyond just a TV series into a cherished memory for many. Cherie Johnson, known for playing Punky's best friend, shares a unique connection with the show. Her character, named after her, brought a genuine essence to the series. Interestingly, Susie Garrett, who portrayed Punky's grandmotherly figure, was Cherie Johnson's real-life grandma. This familial link added an authentic depth to their on-screen relationship. The show, while not officially based on it, shared similarities with the novel Celia's Marner, particularly in its portrayal of an older man forming a bond with a young girl in need. These connections added layers to the storytelling, resonating with audiences through relatable themes of companionship and familial ties, shaping the heart of the series. At the close of its fourth season, the series encountered an unexpected finale amid the 1988 Writers Guild of America strike. The episode featuring a dog wedding wasn't intended as the ultimate closure. The cast remained unaware of the show's cancellation until after this installment was filmed, marking an unforeseen conclusion to a beloved narrative. The production faced hurdles early on, as evident in the changes made at the outset of the second season. 
Alterations in the set's interiors, from a switch in the couch to modifications in Henry's apartment layout, marked a shift in the visual continuity of the series. Despite early success among its youthful audience, the series struggled to uplift its ratings by the end of the second season, leading to an unfortunate decision. NBC President Brandon Tartikoff personally conveyed the cancellation news to series creator David W. Ducklon, highlighting the challenges in sustaining a primetime series despite its ardent fan base. The unforeseen conclusion, set changes, and the struggle to maintain viewership punctuate the intricate narrative of this iconic series, encapsulating its journey through highs and lows in the world of television. The TV series Punky Brewster, born in 1984, had its unique quirks behind the scenes. Cherie Johnson, portraying the best friend, shared a familial link with the show's creator, David W. Ducklon, her uncle. Despite this connection, she auditioned like any other actor and was selected by the network for the role. This brought an authentic touch to her portrayal, adding depth to the series' dynamics. Another interesting facet was the show's transition from NBC to Columbia Pictures Television. Initially produced by NBC for two seasons, the series later moved to Columbia, which independently crafted the latter two seasons for syndication. This shift in production marked a significant change in the show's journey and management. Moreover, to accommodate young viewers' early bedtime, shorter episodes were aired. Six 15-minute episodes were strategically slotted after football games, which sometimes ran long, ensuring the young audience could catch the show and still hit the hay on time. These behind-the-scenes elements contributed to the show's unique path and dynamics, shaping its journey through the television landscape. Punky Brewster's real name, Penelope, held a story untold within the series. Her attachment to the song I've Got the Sun in the Morning and the Moon at Night carried a poignant connection to her past, left by her mother before abandoning her. Interestingly, this song also inspired the name of Solal Moon Fry, the actress portraying Punky. Fry's embodiment of the character resonated deeply with audiences, bringing to life the spirited young girl navigating the complexities of childhood. This deeper connection to Penelope's past and the music box left by her mother added layers to Punky's character, enriching the series' storytelling with emotional depth and resonance. As the journey through reminiscence draws to a close, consider the indelible imprint left by the remarkable odyssey that was Punky Brewster. A trailblazing narrative that wove together childhood wonder, resilience, and heartfelt camaraderie into the very fabric of its storytelling. Perhaps within your own chapters of nostalgia, there resides a cherished memory or a resonating lesson gleaned from the endearing exploits of its characters. Your personal connection, a unique tapestry woven into the broader canvas of shared experiences, adds depth to the enduring legacy this series continues to etch into our hearts. Take a moment, pause in the corridors of recollection, and unfurl the fragments of your memories or the echoes of reflections inspired by Punky Brewster. Whether it's the spirited adventures of Punky herself or the tender moments that nestled within each episode, your thoughts are the embers that keep the fire of appreciation for this classic series burning bright. Your voice, your narrative, is a vital stitch in the patchwork quilt of collective remembrance. Share with us your favorite moments, the poignant lessons imbibed, or the characters who found a place in the sanctuary of your thoughts. Thank you for journeying through these nostalgic reflections with us, for lending your unique perspective to the mosaic of shared memories. Your time and your reminiscences are treasured gifts that enrich the tapestry of our collective nostalgia. Until our paths cross again in the corridors of cherished recollections, thank you, truly.